Well, good morning all. So, we are here for a camp. Especially this camp is for genetic mutations, Down syndrome, autism, developmental disorders and neuro regressions. Okay. So, how to approach this kind of uh, cases? And today, I am sharing you certain thought process in which you have to apply this knowledge. How to approach the cases. So, in the last camp, I have concluded the basic history pattern. But today, I am going to recap that again. And today, we will be going to deal with the cases of autism. How to approach the autism cases. Okay, so starting with the blessings from our Samuel Hanneman masters. So we give a tribute to our master Samuel Hanneman who taught us dare to be wise. So this is our dare to deal with this kind of such cases. With the blessings of our guru Dr. Prabhupada Jekar sirs who taught us the homeopathy is mathematics. So whenever you apply any mathematical science in certainty, it will help you to get the mathematical conclusions. Seeking blessings from my mentors, Dr. Jitesh Vasanya, and my guides, guru, mentors, and friends forever, Dr. Sukhendu Shastri. So I am here to present you because of these two people. So, what sir always says, I do not see what mind does not know. Okay. So, the process of making your awareness, this has to be cured with the homeopathy. So, anything which is installed in your brain or in your mind, then you can see in the patient. Otherwise, you cannot see. So, this is what our sir always says, I do not see what mind does not know. So, in the last sessions of camp, I have concluded this to be taken into case taking in this type of cases. So first and foremost, the cases come to you, they are either a diagnosed case or either you need to diagnose the case. Two bro uh, processes going on. So diagnosed case means the case came with all the reports. Either having a developmental uh, delays, either having a cerebral palsy, either having a Down syndrome, either having a neuro regression, either having a autism. So it is a diagnosed case. And sometimes the patient comes directly to you. So on the basis of sign and symptoms, you have to understand that this is the possibility of this, this, this. And after that, you have to investigate the patients with the required investigations. Such investigations are like the city brain, MRIs, and certain tests which is used for the neurological assessment. Okay. So first and foremost thing you have to understand the diagnosis and reports. On the basis of diagnosis and reports, you can understand what patient is in miasm. See, we have to identify the miasm first. The only things we have to treat three process only. Nothing more than that. The SORA is an inflammatory defense mechanism, the psychosis is a constructive defense mechanism, and the syphilis is a destructive defense mechanism. Out of three defense mechanisms, which mecha mechanism is happening into the patient? So we have to diagnose that only. The name may be varies. Okay. So on the basis of that, you have to diagnose the case, which myasm patient belongs to. Sora, psychosis or syphilis. Mostly these cases are of syphilitic in origins. Or either they present in the syphilitic in origins and they present to us as a psychotic. Like that uh, Down syndrome. All Down syndrome patient comes to you, they represent us the whole psychosis. But actually the mutation is happening in the level of genes, so it is a syphilitic in nature. Okay, fine. So you have to diagnose that. The second point in the case taking is you ask the birth history. Very important, any birth insult, perinatal, neonatal or after birth, there is an insult to the brain that can lead to the neuro regression. Sometimes the child born normally, after that the child develops sepsis and after that the child goes into neuro regression. So this is the after birth and sometimes it happens before birth. So developmental delay due to the mother having passed certain perception into the child. So that is what you have to understand. So birth history is very important. Cry immediately after birth, 
what is the event happening after birth. Sometimes you found that the malignant neonatal jaundice, which can lead to chronic terrors. And chronic terrors lead to developmental delay. So the culprit is not the brain. The culprit is the liver. So mother has passed the information that liver is a bit. And that is the why the child goes into developmental neuroregressions. So in that case, we need to think of the remedy which is primary acting on the liver. So many a time we have came across the remedy either lycopodium or frontalus varidus. In that case, it's a malignant jaundice. Okay. So this is what very important aspect of birth history. Then you have to understand the case taking process with the two columns. One column is called as ability and one column is called as a disability. In this case, you have to make sure that the ability is based on the developmental milestone. So certain certain child comes to you with the uh, they can sit properly, but they cannot walk, they cannot talk, they have no speech, they have a delayed speech. For certain child, simply child came to you with the complaint that they don't have uh, leg holding, they don't have a smiling. So these are the things you have to take into consideration. Okay. So in that case, you have to understand which are the abilities and which are the disabilities. And on the basis of abilities and disability, which will help you in the follow-up cases where the disability is converted into abilities. That means your follow-up is getting better. Say for example, a child having a no neck holding and child is like a vegetable child. Whenever you are prescribing certain medicines, so how can you judge this medicine is right or wrong? So on the basis of this, when the neck holding started, child is holding neck properly, that means you have stimulated the nutrient gradient of that child and the progress of the growth has started. So in that case, the follow-up is very good. But after preserving your medicine, the neck only does not start it, but child wanted to sit because of physiotherapy. So this follow-up is wrong. Are you getting me? So this is very important aspect to understand the ability and disability. The disability has to be converted into ability in the follow-up. That is one important point. Second, timeline and journey of the disease. So, each and every cases you have to understand the, which time is affected and what are the journey of the disease. From where? Say, for example, I had given you example of the malignant jaundice. So, child developed a jaundice prior to the neuroregression, Saturnic terrors. So, we have to understand the GOD starts from the liver, not directly from the brain. Certain, certain times you find out the cases in which the child is having a neonatal asphyxia and after that asphyxia, child goes into hypoxic ischemic injury to the brain and that leads to the neuroregressions. So that means the primary organ is respiratory, but respiratory means the pons and medulla, the basic brain. So that brain is affected primarily and then it goes to the developmental delay. So this is very important, the timeline and journey. And according to that, you have to understand the miasmatic process, the sura, psychosis and syphilis. So if it is an inflammatory process, for example, the mother having a urinary tract infection, UTI, during pregnancy, and mother was given antibiotic. So mother sura has been suppressed. And after that mother sura has been suppressed, so UTI went into the child developmental delays. So this is again the sura went into psychosis. So you have to understand the journey of disease from this. Fourth, the fifth point is the miasmatic progress of the disease. So same way when you put the GOD, so you can directly understand the sura is here, then psychosis, then psychosis, then psychosis, then then this is the syphilis. So you have to understand the miasmatic progress. Again, in a follow-up, you have to reverse this pro progress. So from syphilis to psychosis, psychosis to sora. Clear? Very important aspect of teaching this type of cases is mostly the mother state during pregnancy. So you have to ask the mother state during pregnancy. Very important. So for that, you have to understand the work. one thing is embryological development. So embryological development, in the embryological development, I will give you the one slide which will guide you what to probe and when to grow and where to grow. This is very important aspect. So mother is still in pregnancy is very important. In that case, you have to understand the emotions of the mother or the perception of the mother which can transfer directly through the birth thing to the placental circulation to the fetus and the fetus feeling the same as mother feeling. Okay. The same way, if the child is susceptible, then, they, then and then the child is they are developing the disorders. Say for example, if the child having a twin pregnancy, mother having a twin pregnancy, one child develop autism and one child develop a normal. So 
I will say, I, I will, the patient will ask you, sir, I have a twin pregnancy and all the situation I have gone through in through our pregnancy, the both child having the same. But why this child is affected and why this not? So what answer you have to give? Tell me. Is there any scientific uh, correlation behind that? Or one answer to be given to the patient? So you need to explain the uh, phenomena like that. One is like a glass and one is like a wood. Okay? So what is that? Uh, whenever you put some chroma to the glass and chroma to the wood, so glass will break and wood will not break. So that is where the susceptibility of the genetic of the child is deciding that the child is suffering. Are you getting me? So that means the, when the impression of the mother emotions are taken by the child and the child is susceptible, then and then the child is going to develop the disorders. Otherwise not. It is mentioned in operation number 31. So you have a reference. Okay? The inimical cause or noxious cause can be partly psychical, partly physical, affecting the individual if the individual is susceptible or predisposed to. This is, this is given in aphorism number 31 by Master Hanuman. So that has to be taken into consideration. So in mother state during pregnancy, the emotion is most important and the emotional reactions is most important. So for example, I will give you a case example. The child came to me with the complaint of the polycystic jaundice, congenital polycystic jaundice and the liver cirrhosis. The child was 3 years old, so 4 years old. So on the basis of that, I asked mother, so liver means the starvation phenomena. We understand the starvation phenomena from the conflict theory. But what is the starvation? That I didn't get food, that's why my liver has to compromise. Okay, so that is the phenomena. Now this is cholesterol jaundice goes into cirrhotic of liver and uh, uh, death, going towards the death. That means the miasm is psychosyphilitic. Okay, so we need to find out what sora is compromising the mother. So on the basis of that, I asked the little history that what happened, what happened, what happened during the last month because everything is developed properly. The only physiology is affected. This is a physiological process. So I asked what, what happened, what happened. She didn't re reply anything. She said there is a conflict in the family, there is a, a, a conflict between husband and everything, but there is no issue of anything. So I asked what happened, what happened, what happened. Again, Robin and Robin, she said that I am a lot of anger. So I understand the anger is the process that the liver is affected. But I asked, what was the reaction in the anger? So she said that I didn't eat for seven days during seven months of pregnancy. <coughs> so that means what? The mother is willingly refused to eat. Mother is willingly refused to eat. This was the reaction. Okay? Because of anger. So we cannot directly took the ailment from anger. For ailment from anger vexations, we directly took the reaction. So sometimes you have to take the ailment, either a fright, sudden joy, sudden fright, sudden anger, violent anger, rage, as a cause. And sometimes you have to take the mother reaction. So this reaction is could be like that. The, I took the rubric, eat, eating refused to and liver ailment. On the basis of that, and the child disposition was, the child was taking ice alone. So this was a craving for the eyes and craving for the cold thing. On the basis of I prescribed Veritrum out. And after that Veritrum out, the child has regressing the cholesterol jaundice and all the parameters of the liver are reducing within seven months, seven to eight months. Okay? So this is what you have to understand in MSDP is the emotional cause and the mother reaction of it during pregnancy. Are you getting me? The last thing is you have to understand the child disposition. So what was the genetically child is? Child is a slow or fast. Child is a restless or non-restless. So these are the genetic characters of the child. And you have to take that into consideration. Child is timid or child is a strong will. You have to take into consideration. Child is extroverted or child is not mingling with the person. You have to take into consideration. These are the genetic traits of the child. So that disposition has to be aired. So what is the criteria for analysis? In the criteria for analysis you have to take that the disease as a miasmatic process. The second point the cause of the disease as a mother perception or mother emotions. Plus if the reaction is syphilitic you have to add the mother reaction. Plus you have to add the child disposition and out of that the finally the remedy came to you that is your conclusions. Are you getting me? This is not analysis process. 
and the last rule in rule out. So on the basis of the child disposition, we have to rule in this remedy or rule out this remedy. So this is the whole scenario of the camp cases. Now, what I mentioned is when to probe and when not to probe. So this chart is very important to understand that if the developmental structure is affected, so anatomical structure is affected, so in that case you have to probe into first four months. This is an embryological process. So in the first four months, the whole body is developing from the single cellular to the cascade of the organs and everything. So this cascade and organ has been developed. And this development is somewhere governed by the genes. So whenever certain things of agenesis or developmental process is disturbed, at that time you have to ask what are the genes is suppressing or expressing at the time of pregnancy during the first four months and during that the mother has faced certain conflict. So this conflict can create this. Are you getting me? So from that you have to ask. So if there is an anatomical problem, ask in first four months. Okay? At the fifth month the force of viability is entered. So that means what? So the child mother got weakening. The sensation of the child is moving. Weakening. Okay? That is called the force of viability is and after that the physiological process. Started. So, when the development is absolutely normal and the physiology is affected, you need to probe in the last five, the last three months, from six to nine months. Are you getting me? Say, for example, if the child has developed proper eye and vision is not there, okay? So, vision is not there means the functions of the roads and coal is disturbed. Anatomically, eye developed properly. Okay, so you have to ask what was the conflict happening in the last six months that you don't want to see something. So mother has passed the information to the child na? for survival, vision is not important. So mother has passed this information to the child and child taken as a granted if it is susceptible, okay, okay, mama, I don't want to see this. So why you don't want to see this? So certain circumstances happen in the mother's life that can create that. Okay, same way if the uh, eyes is not developed, cornea is not developed. That means what is the problem starting in the anatomical process. So you need to probe that why you don't want eye, eye for the reason. Na? So that is what is very important, the development and physiological. Are you getting me very clear? Okay. So last time I go, uh, I went with the mind of pathology. So mind of pathology means what the, this term is going by the pathological sir. When the Constitution as a whole, either the genetic and epigenetic factors are responsible for the how organism react with its pathology and with its defense. So this is called a self-defense mechanism. So if I need to protect myself, I need to cover, cover and cover. Say for example, I am in a cold atmosphere. Okay, I am very chilly. What I used to do? I used to wear one sweater. Okay, chill I feel more chilly. Then what I used to do? Another one sweater, another one sweater. So I am protecting. So this is my defense mechanism. But internally what? I am too fragile to tolerate the cold. Are you getting me? So this protection is the defense mechanism. This is the pathology. But behind that pathology, what was the perception? I am too fragile to handle or tolerate the cold. So that is what mind of pathology. Are you getting me? Easy? Okay. So it was given in the aphorism number 189 that no external memory happen without any reason. So any things happen in the body, there has to be has a cause. Okay? So find out that cause. Okay. So the without the consent of the whole of the health, rest of the health, the without the participation of the rest of the whole. So that is means even it was written it like this. No eruption on the leaf, no withdraw can occur without the previous cyanide internal ill health. So what is this? The external process is guiding you that this is the disease process is happening at the body here. Okay? So you need to find out what is internal derailment of the vital force at the level of psyche. And that is what you have, if you have to connect both things, that is called as mind of pathology. Clear? So it is all mentioned in aphorism. Okay, we have to adapt ourselves. So, what are the uh, process can lead to the mind of pathology? So, sir always said that the mind, the thought, the mental and emotional event play a core role in the development of the disease and the most of the pathology arises due to emotional conflict. Are you getting it? 
Okay. Same thing is written in the chronic disease by the master in a different words. Okay. So I am not going into detail things. Okay. So there is a some uh, what what sorry as what there is an emotional conflict. Well, what type of emotional conflict mother go, mother is going towards the process? So there must be unhappy marriage life. Knowing that science, annual death of only son causes an incurable suppurative lungs, breast cancer in the tender mother. See, breast cancer in tender mother, it was written in the chronic disease 50 years ago. Right now, Dr. Hammer is, within, uh, in the last century, Dr. Hammer has mentioned that breast cancer developed because of nest worry conflict. So that means what? The mother is tender. That's why mother is having a nest worry conflict. Right? So same thing what Master Hanuman has done. So, what Master Hanuman was ahead the time, you know, so this is what everything is written, but in his language, we need to understand this in our modern era, okay. So, these are the epigenetic factor which can lead to the development of the pathological process at the level of psyche. So, the type of emotional conflict determines the localization of the disease and it has connection to the person's sensitivity. Unless and until the person is sensitive, then and then the disease will develop. If the person is not sensitive, disease will not develop. Clear? Easy? Okay. Because the disease are organism defense mechanism. Same way I give an example, if I am feeling chilly, so I need to cover up. So this, this is the defense mechanism. Okay. Now, to understand the mind of pathology, Dr. Hammer has mentioned the process that the body is made up in the two sides, the right side and left side. So, if anything happens in the right side, it is mostly related to the life partner. And if it is happening in the left side, it is mostly related to the children's mother and home. So, this was given as a conflict. So, in the case setting, why is this happening? So, if certain pathology is happening into the patient, so you need to probe that what is happening at your family level, what is happening at your business level, what is happening at outside the home, what is happening inside the home, what is happening to your mother, what is happening to your child. So this is the things which help you in case taking. Okay. So if right sided is affected, the conflict between the husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, business partner, colleague, friend, enemy, neighbors or relatives. Provided the person is right handed. Now, how to find out he is right handed and left handed? So, there is a one test called as cap test or bottle open test, bottle cap open test. So, cap test is called as the one person is clapping like this. So, the dominant hand is the dominant side. So, that is if I am clapping like this, so I my biological side is right. Sometimes it happens that the patient has said, I am writing with the right, and you are, are you asking that clap? So, if they, they clap like this. So this means biologically they are left handed but they end up they could write with the right handed. So you have to think like that. Another case is you have to ask to open the cap bottle. So if the bottle is holding in the left hand and opening in the right hand, that means the right hand is dominant. And someone is holding the bottle in the left hand and opening with the, uh, holding the bottle in right hand and opening with the left hand. So the opening hand is what is the dominant hand. So this is called right handed or left handed. Once you know these things, if the person is left handed, then this process becomes vice versa. Right side becomes left side and left side becomes right side. It is not confusing, but you have to understand. This phenomena is for right handed persons. Okay? Most of 97% people in the uh, universe is a right handed. Rest 3% people are the left handed. So in the less left handed people, this phenomena has been reversed. So right hand, right side become left side and left side become right side. Okay? Fine? So these are things which is written in. So here, with the genuine left handed person, those who are genetically left handed, the side relationship has been reversed. Okay? So in the left side, the conflict associated with the parents, children, siblings, people and animal, you have parental or brotherly or sisterly feeling. Sometimes what happens, the conflict arising like that is uh, the female having a breast cancer, specifically left side. Okay. So we ask mostly that the left side breast cancer is because of the child. But female said, I don't have any child. But she is more worrying about the husband health and she is taking care of husband health as his child. So husband becomes his child. Or sometimes the 
father is elderly people, the father, father-in-law, so a very, very, very cares and worries mother can develop this. So when this is the phenomena in the history, you can find out that she is more worried about the grandfather. But grandfather, she treat grandfather as his child. That's why it developed in the left side. This is a optional. It is happening in your history. Okay. But the rules is like this. Now, our today's session is based on the autism. So, approach to autism. How to understand the autism in detail. So, what is autism? So, what is autism spectrum disorders? The autism refer to the autism spectrum disorders are the neurodevelopmental disorders characterized by deficit in the social communication. There is a social communication deficit and a social interaction. So what it means? The person is not going to communicate, not going to socialize. Right now we are being so social on Insta and social media, not social in real sense. So same way they goes into this deficit. And repetitive, restrictive pattern of the behavior. So only repetitive patterns or restrictive behavior. Child running and running and running, child is doing same thing, child is sitting at one place, child is playing in the same manner, child is not mingling with others, so these are if jumping on the beds, only jumping, jumping, jumping. Okay, so these are the repetitive pattern and there is a behavior which is called interest and activity, so mostly they become hyperactive and everything. So this is a sign of autism spectrum disorders. Now, what happened? It impact it impact the how the person perceive and socialize the other causing problem in the social interaction and communication. So the ability and the need of autistic people varies and can evolve over a time while some people have autism can live independently. So what happens? Sometimes the autism symptoms are there but they can, they can live independently. Some person cannot live independently. Okay. Why is there some people having autism can live independently and others have a severe disability, disability and require a large amount of care and support? So these are the process. It is estimated that in the prevalence of that it is the one out of hundred children is autism. So this is what you have to understand the autism is the biggest problem in the right now social circumstances. Okay. So there is in the conventional medicine they say that there is a no cure for the autism at all. And uh, but they have used uh, intensive and early treatment and the intervention as a therapy that can help you. This is hypothesis of conventional medicine. It can help you, but it cannot reverse. Okay. Whereas homeopathy has the answer. So when the conventional medicine do not find any reason to put into the behavioral disorder, any reason for the disease, they put into behavioral disorders. Okay. Why this is happen? This is a behavioral disorder. Because they don't know the reason happening, what happened. So autism is connected with the number of behavioral problems like no eye contact, no communication with the fellow human being, no request like the water foods. So conventional medicine people send them to the speech therapy, send them so the child will learn certain things like a parent. Anything which you taught, it can be it can be uh, learned and it can be speak like a parrot. So this is what you are training a tiger into circus. Like say. But uh, the natural ability of the tiger or lion is not there in circus. This is like a circus. So conventional medicine treat like that. So human child should know everything genetically. You don't need to uh, advise or don't, don't need to uh, make a child to learn how, how to speak and how to. They learn everything naturally. So this is what human child should know how to talk and but something is missing in that. So what missing is the chip is missing in the brain and that is called as autism. Okay. So due to external help various children autism become worsens. So whenever you are uh, trying to suppress something they goes into syphilis. We have to counter the myasa. Okay. This is the defense mechanism. I don't want to communicate with someone. This is the defense mechanism of the child. And you try to giving and dropping that you have to learn this, you have to learn this, you have to learn this. And this can lead to the hyperactive and violent behavior. So this is what the therapy will suppress to higher version. And the autism becomes incurable. So what was the method? So to treat the autism, understanding the evolution. Understanding of the evolution is the must. So what is the evolution? The evolution of the brain. 
evolution of the human is most important. So everyone is evolved. So everyone evolved means the life is evolved. So life is evolved from a single cellular to the multicellular complex mechanism of the human body, like uh, amoeba, plants, tree, fish, reptiles, arachnids, animals, monkey, and to man, and then the human. So this is our evolutionary process. So we need to find out where the child is stuck up, either in the plant phase, either into the tree phase, either into the fish phase, either into the reptile phase or animal phase, and then they comes into the human behavior patterns. Okay. So the life is evolved, so the brain also evolved ultimately. So we need to understand the brain. So how the evolution of the brain started? So brain gradually evolved. So from plant xylem and phylum to the brain stem in the animal and the survival of the life. So in the plant brain, it is a xylem and phylum. Okay, there is only one place. Just getting a nutrition from the uh, nutrition from the lens. Okay, this is the only thing. But after the it developed the animal life, so brain stem has developed respirations and defense and fighting and everything. So survival, for survival they have to find out the food, for survival they have to find out the things. Okay, so this is the evolution. So, we need to understand that first is the brain stem is evolved, first. Second is the cerebellum is evolved and third is the emotional brain is developed. So in the first evolution of the brain stem, there is a respiratory center, so respiratory center is started. Then the cardiovascular system, the cardiovascular system has been started. Then the nutritive biochemics has been started and the awareness. In the old brain, awareness is there, but awareness is only for survival only, not for intellectual development. Are you getting me? So this is the oldest brain. Then the brain stem, so in the brain stem the cerebellum is developed. When the cerebellum is developed, means that means when the limbs are coming to the contact, so limbs have started the balancing. So for balancing, the brain is, cerebellum is needed and that cerebellum has started. So locomotion, the cerebellum controls the balance, coordination, locomotion, precision. So this is something called as a spider and animal started walking. And the last one is the emotional brain developed. So emotion comes. Fear. First emotion comes is fear. Then out of fear, the emotion comes is anger. Okay. So evolution of the brain, the brain, brain stem, cerebellum, and emotional brain has been. And then the, all the neurotransmitter coming from the emotional brain, it recorded into the cortex. So emotion has been recorded into cortex. So cortex has developed last. And then it is called as the human behavior pattern. So human brain is intelligent because it is integrated everything and working homeostatically. We know that our brain is very complex mechanism. So intellect and communication ability is the speciality of the human when the cortex develops. Are you getting me? All animals are there but they don't have communication. They need to. Do, do you have seen that the animal is talking to each other not in animation? In a real sense. Okay. But animation is made by the human, so that human has intellect. Okay. So this is the intellect and communication started with the cortex. So very important to understand the evolutionary process. Now we have to understand in the follow-up where the evolution has been stopped. And from that we have to start that evolution into the child and they started communicating. This is what we are creating. So when the life develops, pons and medulla oblong data are ruling the only survival mechanism in heart being like the nutrition, respiration and cardiovascular system. After that what happens? The limb is developed. So when the limb is developed, it is controlled by the cerebellum. After that what happens? Cerebellum means what? A child which is not walking properly, child is not sitting properly. There is a limb, but this limb is not used for the balance. So that means still cerebellum is not working. Are you getting me? And then the emotion develop. The emotion develop is uh, controlled by the emotional brain and the, all the neurotransmitter coming from this. So that neurotransmitter is giving rise to a signal. So this emotion giving rise to a cause and also a conflict and the reactions also. So now we have to understand. See, first we have to understand the evolutions of the brain. Now what are the types of the autism? There are the two types of the autism. The one is called as the by birth autism means the genetic and the second one is after birth. So that means if the child is sensitive after birth and due to circumstances of the life, child goes into recreations. Sometimes
time you find that the mother says that after two and a half years my child was absolutely normal. I will show you one case that will guide you through that. So my child is absolutely normal but circumstances made us that, that this child goes into non-communication and non-socialization. And that is what after birth. And sometimes the mother says that we know from seven, eight months that he is not going to communicate with he is not smiling with us, he is not uh, communicating with us. So this is what the my birth what is it? Are you getting it? So this is two things we have to understand. So after birth, sometimes it is said that after birth the vaccination is the cause. But unless and until the child is susceptible to vaccination, then and then this vaccination can cause the autism. Otherwise, not. Okay? So all vaccinated children cannot develop autism. This is a hypothesis. Okay. The ch children who are genetically prone, uh, when it was written, it was written in aphorism number 31. The genetically prone to vaccination, then and then they get the autism. Okay. So what you need to find out? First you need to find out what was the child before affected by the autism and child was sensitive to what and what has hurt him. So here you need to find out the sensitivity of the child. What was the hurting point of the child can lead to this process. Now what was the process? We have to understand the process first. So when the child is born, mother's nose, it is initial for the few days, child is breathing, eating, sleeping only like a plant. So child becomes like a plant. Then child is gradually reflex developed. Then milestone of the infant, we can see the development from plant to fish, fish to reptile, reptile to animal and human. We have seen a very uh, young boy, infant of one or two days, he is totally dependent on mothers. This is a plant. Then started moving, then started only, there is a survival mechanism is there. Then he started neck, then crawling, then turning. So these are the development from the fish to reptiles and then the human behavior pattern. So what happened in autism? Autism means the human reverses to animal. Human reverses to animal. This is very important. So human child who was communicating well now become only an emotional pool and become animal. Okay. So this is autism. So sir, sir say that it, it becomes very difficult to handle some autistic children. I have seen parents keep children time. Sometimes emotionally they have so much for outbursts because of they are animal character. So they become violent. So due to that violence, the parents making them to bind. Parents is sign them. And this is a worse condition. This is a worse autism. So now you have to remove the cause. What do you have to do? Remove the cause. Why this child become animal from the human? So remove the cause. So find out the first child born normal or born autistic. Two things. Okay? So cause. The cause is a mental cause mostly. The physical cause is always precipitating factor. Say for example vaccination. So vaccination is a precipitating factor. But the, before that there is a weakness is carried forward from the mother. So mental cause is the only cause. Okay? So what is autism at the mental level? So autism cannot cause, cannot be anger. Anger is not the cause of autism. Due to anger, autism does not happen. Okay? It is happened because of escapism. So there is the mode that I have to escape from this world. So if I am angry, I can defend. If I am not angry, what I am moving? So who will move? The animal will move. Okay, so this is what the autism is the escapism. Because child going reverse of the development compromises integral and cannot grow mentally. Clear? So person who escape are the timid coward and child is trying to escape from the reality. When the person is going to escape from the reality, they are coward and timid. So most of the timid rebellion comes into this autism spectrum disorders as your prescriptions. Okay. So autistic children cannot be an angry person, always a timid and not harmful unless and until they are subjected to various therapy. Now the patient comes to you and mother always complaining that he is so hyperactive, he is so restless and he is destructive in nature. But why he become destructive? Because of some therapy. Before that he is not like that. Okay. So this emotional outburst is because of suppression of the psychosis to syphilis. Clear? Okay, so they go into syphilis and that is why they develop a anger. But actually they are not angry. The escape 
from the society. They are cutting off the relation. Very important aspect of this red line. They escape from the society, cutting off the relations of the people around him. Means the child is very badly hurt, either by the surrounding humans or circumstances. If I have to cut my relationship, I have to cut my communication with the world, what happened to me? I am badly hurt, either by the circumstances or the surroundings. So you have to find out the circumstances and surroundings. This is called epigenetic factor of the mother. So child does not want to communicate with the world, the connection to the world is lost. So this means the regressions from the human to animal is the escapic tendency. So, Strong will person cannot be inflicted. Means the strong will remedy will not go into autism. This is the rule. This is what Sir has meant. So just to revise that uh, what happened in autism. So right brain is sensitive brain and left brain is logical brain. We all know. So right control the left side of the body and left control the right, vice versa. So an artist and poet will suffer from the left side of the body problem. On the left side then, we have heart function of the blood and the blood relatives will come on left side. So mother, child, brother and sister and nest. So this is what I have mentioned in the hemisphere. This is for the right handed couple and for left handed people it is exactly opposite. Now left brain controls the right side. The right main for the working. Anything related to work, either a mental quality, calculations, domination, industries, language is a left brain dominant. Okay? With left sided, it's like mental illness. Okay? So now, the normal human. See, normal human first development is the right brain. Because right brain is mother brain. So first started with the nutrition. First started with the development. And then the left brain has been developed. That means left brain is the logical. Okay? So in the first development, the right brain, so learning happens. So pehle hum ko sikhaya jata hai pictorial memory. Pictorial memory means what? You have to see the, some picture. See, this is parrot, this is elephant, this is apple. So, child learn. So, this is recorded into right side of the brain. Okay? And then what happened? This is communicated to the left side and left side is stored as a memory. Then next time the, the child see that uh, this is elephant, so child is remembering and correlated from the left brain. This is the elephant, this is the apple. So, this is what the first uh, learning is from the right brain. So development from the right brain, nutrition. Okay, any input goes into right and then left. Here what happens, the connection with the right is cut off in autism. Okay. So in autism, right brain stop working. Clear? So we need to, what we need to do, we need to stimulate the organism to develop the right brain. So left brain is all the logic, so it is psychotic. Right brain is soda and syphilis. Clear? Soda syphilis. The autistic children play a game very fast. You know, sir, my, my child is very intelligent, he play a game very fast. My child is very intelligent in uh, operating the gadgets. So this is what it is because of psychotic attitude of the left brain. Okay, so left brain is low, logical in number. So that calculation and that speed is fast. So this is the syphilitic attributes. Okay, so syphilitic children are having this actions. So sometimes those school, those autistic school, give the child to play with the gadgets and everything, they may lead to the syphilitic version of the child. It is not going to help. They, they understand that it is for the learning purpose, but they never understand. Before understanding ABCD, they cannot operate this. So first, try to teach the ABCD and then to teach the gadgets. Are you getting it? So you have to stimulate the right brain. So what homeopath do? What we do generally? We develop right brain. Okay? So if right brain develop, it will develop sensitivity, it will develop fear and understanding and learning process. So what is right and wrong sense? See, the autistic child does not know, they run on the road and does not know where to hit with the car or bikes or anything. Because he don't have this right brain development. So if whenever you are prescribing certain medicine, he started fearing, that fearing to go to the roads and fearing, that means you have stimulated the right brain in developing, that is a learning process that I have to save myself first. Okay? That is a very important. So in short, right brain is mother brain, left brain is father brain. So first and foremost, we have to stimulate the right brain. Okay? So nutrition and everything start first and then logical brain comes later. So, this was the example, so I will uh, skip this as we have uh, less time. So, if 
if the child born autistic, what is the mental trauma during pregnancy? You need to ask one question to the mother. What was the mental trauma during pregnancy? You are trying to escape from the reality. Okay? Second, either you have to ask the mental trauma, second you ask the physical trauma due to frequent sonography or sex determination. That also create autism. People don't understand that mother, the child in the home can think like this. People don't know. You have to be aware of that. Okay? So let's discuss two few uh, cut-out cases. So this was the case of the sir. Uh, I was keeping first case because this case I have part in last session. Let's discuss this case. This is a new one. So the case is like that. The autistic child, but sir says we did not did not get any mental trauma during pregnancy. Whenever you are taking certain history, na, you encounter with the certain cases that you probe lot of things, but you didn't get any mental cause during pregnancy. So, uh, the child was born autistic. So, something is there in the child. Okay. So, we need to treat, na? Okay. So, sir asked, tell me about some peculiar things of the child. So, whenever one, one road is closed, see, when you go to uh, somewhere else in the destination, Google Maps shows a pathways. A shortcut, this road, this road. Okay. When one road is closed, you need to go to the another road. So what sir has good? I didn't find any mental trauma. I need to find out certain things. So in that case, sir asked about uh, any peculiar things of the child. Now this thing goes like that. Mother says that, yes doctor, she is possessed by some bad ghost with both breath. Okay. And sir asked, why do you think so? Okay. So she says that she never go near to the temple. Even when she was young in my arms, she would throw tantrum if I go near to the temple. God. Even now also we cannot force him to join the hand for the puja. This was the autistic child. is like that. Not even to the, the, the temple, not even at our home also. So that was a peculiar thing mother noticed. Okay? Even now cannot force us to enter into temples. If you apply sandalwood, that means a chandan on the face as a powder, she does not powder it and she is not tolerating goal and all. This was the mother notice that this is a PQR symptoms of the patients. Okay. Now what the sir says, did you have any fault at any time during pregnancy? Why sir asked this question? This is very important. You know, sir didn't find any mental trauma. So sir asked about the physical trauma. So sir directly asked, did you fall in during pregnancy? Or did you get any injury during pregnancy? Mother promptly replied, how do you know sir? Yes, I do have a two types of fall. One fall at the fourth month and one fall at the sixth month. And so sir said, what happened? So she said, the fourth month fall is very severe, but I recovered. But at the sixth month fall, I did not, I, that was fall is a very small fall. First month I fall in the, uh, near the road on the metals. So this was an injury to bed. But in the sixth month I fall in my bathroom. Okay, and after that what happened, I did not sleep properly, I don't have a sciatic time, severe pain, and during whole pregnancy, I did not sleep well. So, sir said, what happened in the six months? She said that, I gone through all investigation, I gone through all the doctor. Doctor could not find what was the cause behind this pain and sciatic time. And doctor always said, it is because of pregnancy. And what happened, the, when I delivered, the day I delivered the child, my pain went away and everything became normal. So this was the history. So sir told her that due to pain, it was not available to sleep down, sit, uh, sleep down in the bed peacefully. So there was a piece of the mother is disturbed due to pain. Okay? So mother says, yes doctor. How do you know this? And she was surprised. So this was the history. Now, what was this PQRS things? You need to understand. When sir showed the child behavior, hatred towards the God. Okay? That is very important. It is a PQRS. So what is the PQRS should be considered? Okay? In this PQRS, God is something where you feel peace. Which gives you comfort. But this child was not comfortable. So what was the sensitivity of the child? <coughs> or mother. So something which gives you comfort and peace 
and this will agree on X and they wanted to hate this. What was this? This is what Sir took the rubric is sensitive to agreeable impressions. The impression which is angry to them are sensitive to. So that means what God is giving comfort, God is giving answer, God is giving uh, peace. Okay, and this child is sensitive. So this is the remedy which Sir prescribed, and the remedy is Arnika. Sir prescribed Arnika 50 m, and child recover wonderfully. Now correlate the physical trauma in the mother. Again, directly correlated to element from trauma. Trauma, but this is very important of the psychological process. Sensitive to the. So this was the case. Now. What we do, we have to just stimulate the brain, right side of the brain by finding out the sensitivity of the child, sensitivity of the mother and the perception and the reaction. What was the follow-up criteria? So most of the time we have to follow-up criteria, we have to reverse the miasm from syphilis to psychosis. So in syphilitic state, what happened? The syphilitic symptoms should go first, like animal behavior should go first, striking, biting themselves, biting others, then has to go first. Then psychotic behavior, then child develops mimicking, repetitions, imitations, okay, child learn like a parrot, so this is what psychosis. Then psychosis has to go and then the child develops the soaring symptoms like a hyperactivity and restlessness. So in autism, hyperactivity goes later, okay, from destructive hyperactivity to normal physiological hyperactivity. This is what you have to understand in follow-up criteria. Another follow-up criteria, the midbrain, the emotion which is excessive out of control, perverted or distorted should go off next. So emotion, those emotions goes off. Say for example, fear goes into clinging, that goes to normal. Fear has to be there. Okay, fear of dark in the child, it is a common. But this fear of darkness is exaggerated in the child, it has to be gone down. So this is what emotion has to be normalized. And finally, child has come to the human behavior. Very important. So human behavior means sense of right and wrong. Okay, that has to. And they become good boy, good girl image. And then they start the eye communication and the communication. Are you getting me? This is what the clear cut follow up from the syphilis to psychosis, psychosis to sora, emotions, and then the communication has been started. So when violence is decreased, emotion decreases. Then emotional increase, then it decreases and restlessness increase. So this is what you have to understand, this is the good follow-up. Are you getting me? Okay. Sir always says the potency should be advised. The potency should be a 10 m or 50 m if it is genetic. Uh, if it is after the after the birth. And if it is genetic, genetic means by the birth. So sir mostly describe a 200 percent These are the two variants. Either you can prescribe a 10M or 50M or sometimes you can prescribe a 200, you can start with this. So this is what the approach, what homeopath do, what to treat, what are the follow-up and the potency. I think all of you got this. Okay. Yes. Any questions? Now we begin our camp. Okay. So, thank you so much for patience listening and thank you all.